Let's do, mater let's do materials and labor. I'm going to simplify it. Materials and sub-labor. So for materials and labor, I plan to charge. This is going to cost me, let's say, 8000 and the labor is going to cost me 9000 and I want to make a 30% markup in both. So put 1.3 and 1.3. Okay, remember, with this, the way I'm doing the, the way I'm showing this to the customer, they only see the, the, the high number. They don't see the, the internal calculation. Okay, my internal calculation is this is my cost and this is my markup. So my cost on this one would be uh, eight plus nine, which would make it 17, 17,000. Remember that weird trick where I go into the project here. And add this in here. That's it's always valuable to do that. Okay, so there's my cost, seventeen thousand. So I'm gonna go and create my. I'm gonna go into budgeting. I'm gonna create a budget by customer. Okay, I'm gonna call this one conference room project actually the best thing to do is to take is the full customer name and give it give that as the name if it lets you do it sometimes it's too big that's the way i would do it avoid any confusion okay so it's the project for this is for this specific job only okay and let's just do year lease i don't have to um do it by month okay I'm going to click on next, right? And then my income, what I, what I expect to get on this project was, I oh, don't remember what it was. Let's go to pull that up here. 22,100. So I expect to get 22,100. So I'm putting it in the, in the budget. And then my cost For subcontractor, it was 8,000, and material was 9,000. Is that what it was? We'll double check here. Yeah, the other way. So 8,000 uh, 8, for materials, 9,000 for subcontractor. Click on save. There's my project. My project is done. Okay. Let me just run a quick PNL. So let's do a PNL. Just regular. Regular PL. Okay, so there's how much we have invoiced so far. Now let's go ahead and make some expenses. So let's go to Lowe's, buy some materials. 1900 for the conference room expansion project. And let's pay a subcontract. Let's do 4,000. Perfect. So when I pull up my regular, uh, my regular PNL, regular run of the mill PNL for this job, I should see my income and my expenses. So it's more like a sort of traditional accrual, traditional cash basis style reporting. Now I'm going to run my report, which is my budget versus actual. Okay, and then I, I select the specific one I'm doing it for, the only one that I have. And then I'll be able to know exactly where I am. Let me do, let's do um, remaining instead of over budget. So we have right here, my, what I'm supposed to get on this job is 22,100. What I've actually gotten is 11,700 on this line and 10,000 on that line. So they'll tell you exactly which ones are uh, over and under budget. And then let's do amount over budget and percentage of budget. We'll look at the expenses, okay? We budgeted $17,000 in costs. 
and we've only spent four thousand or nineteen hundred, and you get to see right next to it how much uh, what the difference is, or how much cash you have left, and the percentage of budget. So if you're trying to figure out um, where you are on a project, this would be the report for you. Um, you can also.